Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Winning the lottery is the dream of most people. The idea of having a life free of the stress of bills and tensions about finance sounds fascinating to almost everyone. Winning a lottery feels like a blessing, but for some, it ends up devastating their lives. With that said, let's take a look at 10 lottery winners who freaked out when they won the lottery. Number 1. In June 1997, Billy Bob won a $31 million jackpot. He left his job and showered his friends and family with large sums of money. He gave all of his money to other people and had to return to work only one year after his winnings. He had financial pressure and ended his own life. Before his death, he told a financial advisor that winning the lottery was the worst thing that happened to him. Number 2. Gerald Muswagen In 1998, he won a $10 million jackpot and enjoyed the money. He went on a big shopping spree, buying a house, several vehicles for himself and his friends, bought a lot of things for his friends, but he made a bad decision and invested in the wrong business, where he lost all his money. Then he had to work on his friend's farm to pay the basic bills of his life. Later, he was found dead in his parents' garage, having committed suicide due to financial pressure. Number 3. Evelyn Adams won the jackpot not once, but twice, for a total of $5 million. Unfortunately, that was where her luck ended. She wasted all her money in gambling in nearby Atlantic City. She also shared her funds with friends and family. She ended up being broke and living in a trailer park. Number 4. Janet Lee won $18 million. She moved her family to a million dollar home and spent a lot of her money in philanthropic contributions. Her efforts put her name to the reading room side at Washington University School of Law. She gave and gave all of her money and nothing was left. She ended up being two and a half million in debt. Number five. Naturally, people double check the numbers after they win, but this woman did not bother checking it again and went on a long shopping spree. She spent so much on perfumes, clothes, and ornaments. Later, her husband found out that their ticket was not the winning one. Number six. Sharon Tarabassi won $10 million. After receiving the money, she divided it in her family and friends. She was generous to help others, and also spent her winnings on designer clothes, exotic trips, and lavish things. Her money dried up, and now she is working part-time to support her family. Number seven. The saddest thing is winning the lottery and then losing it later. This happened to Martin and his wife from the UK. The couple was thrilled to see their number appeared as jackpot winners. They started planning for their new life. When they went to collect their winnings, they couldn't find it. The couple had missed the 30-day time limit for reporting lost tickets. They were not owed legally to have their $5 million. Number 8. Lara and Roger won $2.1 million. They bought a home, they spent their money and went all out. Their daughters went to expensive schools, she spent money on expensive handbags. Together they opened a beauty salon, soon after their house went on fire, and shortly after that, their marriage ended. They had spent all their money. Lara worked as an employee at the salon they used to own. Number 9. Willie Seely bought tickets with his 16 other colleagues. They won a 450 million Powerball jackpot and they were happy. They all split it and Willie got 4 million only after taxes. After a few weeks, Willie and his wife were bemoaning the lottery curse. Number 10. Curtis Sharp won a $5 million jackpot in 1982. He was known as 5 Million Man. Parties, women, new houses, flashy cars, he lived a lavish life. Sadly, this did not last forever. He was spending more than his yearly extensive checks covered. He left his wife one year after winning. He did a second lavish wedding five years later. The second wife divorced him too. He drank too much and passed out in his new girlfriend's house. He had run out of money, which made him borrow money from his first ex-wife. After all that, the ending was happy. He became good and found God and stopped drinking. That brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know in the comments if we missed something. Anyways, be sure to leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.